This is Garrett from Friends of the Cheat. I'm going to show you real quick how to use the FERC website for um, registration and getting the subscription, and then how to use the e-library to find documents that uh, have already been submitted and where you can see your own um, submission come in. So first you want to go to Google. Um, I just typed in FERC e-registration. Then here will come up from the FERCwebsite.gov. Here, just click on e-registration. I've already made an account, um, but this is exactly what it looks like for me. Um, yours will be blank. So you just fill in your information. Um, and then you click next and then you fill out some more information um, you will want to make sure that you are registering if you want to be uh, a subscriber and to be able to file documents there's two options like whenever you you get on um, and you want to make sure that you're doing it through um, e-register if you'd like to subscribe uh, and you just click next. This page, I believe most of you will not have to um, worry about unless you work for a law firm or an energy company that's already in the system. But if you are a private citizen, you leave this spot blank. Then you just click done. After that, you get a email verification, which then you just hop over to your email, um, it comes in in just like a second, but you'll get an email that looks like this. It'll have your FERC ID number. And then from there, you click on this link that confirms your email and completes everything. Here is a, um, a resource that can help you understand the e-commenting and e-filing. Um, I already have it open right here. So if you're going to be a private citizen um, submitting, you can just use e-comment. And this will allow you to just type in your comment. Um, you just need the project number docket information, which we'll go over that in a second. And um, so that's fine for if you're an individual, but also if you would like, you can, you only have, you have a 6,000 character limit on this, on the e-comment, um, but in e-filing, uh, if you have a full e-registration account, which I just showed you how to do, um, you can, you can do it through a company or agency or different things, but also you can exceed 6,000 characters. You can also have larger files that allow you to attach different things, um, essentially like a, like a PowerPoint or um, different types of files types, if that's something that you were wishing to, to add exhibits, photos, um, attachments. So once you we'll go back to my email, once you click on your confirmation, it'll send you to the FERC website. Your email has been validated. Here you have your tab box. Um, if you just click on online home, this page will pop up and it We'll show you all the things that you can use this for. Um, first, we'll do the e-subscription. So what you do is just click right here, or you can click it over here. Um, so e-subscribe. Now I've already subscribed to Lakeland, but I can just show you what it looks like for yourself. So I'd like to add a new subscription. The number for the Lake Lynn project, the docket number is P. P2. 
2459. Yeah, P24590 zeros. Eagle Creek, Lake Lynn. So you just click add that. Now it should pop up down here in your selected dockets and you just click subscribe. Now you are a part of it. What this will do is that if anything else is issued or more information is on it, it will allow you to get an automatic um, email to receive it. And then here with the comment and filing, next you can come here and um, click e-comment. You just fill out your information or this might preset in just based off your registration information. Um, and again, where you enter the docket number here, so that'll be P2459. Your search it, and then you will have uh, Eagle Creek come up, and you just want to click that. Now that you've selected the docket, make sure it's the correct one you want right here, and then you can just click in this box, and you have a six thousand character um, submission that you can just put in right in there. Um, then looks like all you have to do is send comment. I haven't personally sent my own using this because um, we're filing ours uh, as an organization. Uh, so I will just show you the e-filing page in case you were looking to do more than 6,000 or would like to put them in um, a different way. So here on e-file, if anyone has any questions about this or difficulty, I again, haven't done this. We are submitting our comments here in a week um, as a group, but I believe how it will be done is your filing is to be directed with Hydro licensing compliance. And then what kind of filing are you making would be licensing, relicensing. And then comment in licensing, relicensing. Then you click. Next. Your doc number is still P2459. You click that. Click it here. Make sure that's the correct one. Click next. Um, here you will have um, your file that you want to upload. Um, I'm not going to go all the way through it, but I will just add a Word document so we can see the next page. Um, then you can choose your title. Um, You have to click upload right there. Then it'll show you what file you want and filed as a public. Um, that's what we will be under. And it'll be right here. Um, then when you click next, you either can click um, specify filing parties. If you're an organization, this might look different, but um, if you are an individual trying to do this, you just click here as an individual. Next, um, because you're filed as an individual, you will put in your contact email. And you're adding yourself as signer. And then you will click next. 
here your modify the description i believe this is what will actually pop up whenever um on the in the e library is kind of like your title um so then the next page is just confirmation so i won't actually hear It'll tell you everything that you that you are submitting um, under this docket. Just double check it, and then I would, um, in my case, I'm going to cancel it. All right. So that's the difference in e comments and e filing. Here, you also have your filing list, so you can see. Um, your stuff, what you filed afterwards. And then one thing I wanted to show everybody was the e-library. I think it's a very useful tool. So when you're in here, this is how I was able to find uh, more information about uh, FERC's issues and for issues of additional information requests and then the responses by Lakeland. So again, we'll go here, P2459. Um, you can either, here's where the date range, it automatically clicks past 60 days. But this project, this licensing project has been in effect for a few years now. So I would just say, click down there, click all. And um, you don't really need to get any more specific. I've found this information will pull up what you need. Let's see. So yeah, you can see the the most recent thing that has popped up is a transcript um, of the September 25th public scoping meeting. Um, that's probably just a large text document. But if you scroll down here, you can see um, comments of other people public comments different different types um here's one by i believe a woman barbara roberts and then so you can just see like when you submit one it should should come on this page now some of the stuff i was going to show you that i think you all could use for your a resource um, before doing it. I was able to find right here on 9-11-2023, there is Lakeland's um, responses to FERC's um, additional information request number two. And then make sure there's two different ones. So one has privileged information, I, I guess sensitive information, but this public version um, does have it, it it's pretty much the same I'm sure but it has um, a lot of useful information so then you would just click you can either generate a pdf of all of this stuff um, and it'll take a while to just download and not all things on my computer were able to download but then I just actually downloaded these um, specifically uh, to my computer and so this second one um, is a really useful document. Uh, I already had it downloaded. Most of these documents are pretty big, just so you know. So this is the uh, their responses, their table, and um, just goes over the stuff that FERC had questions about, but a lot of it is also what I saw in the public meeting um, people had questions about. So on page 24 is where a summary of areas proposed for removal are. There you can find previous project purposes of their areas, the, the size of each area, and their um, reason for removal, what they are saying why they would like it removed. That's all here. Um, as well, it has the maps of each area. Um, so you can actually take a look and 
refer to where each of these locations are. As well, you can go all the way back and you can look at any other information you would like. Um, I know, where is it? On 723, I believe, or uh, 720, they did the updated copy of final application. So that's the most up-to-date um, large one. And then again, this one's protected. It looks like you can't download, but uh, you can read it on this one if you would like. And then you can just keep going back. Uh, here is the FERC website where there's relicensing information. Um, and they uh, as well have some of this information able to download, um, but they didn't have that. Right here's the FERC 2 response on September 11th. There isn't a downloadable link. So that's why I showed you how to find it on the FERC website. Um, so yeah, please reach out to me if you have any questions um, or if anything I explained here was unclear or there are other hiccups um, along the way that I haven't been able to troubleshoot. I would be happy to help. Thanks.